my channel. Today we are going to do a blonding tutorial. This is my mom. This is her hair. Before we've been doing kind of like a subtle balayage type thing on her hair. She's let it grow out a lot. She's in college and so she's busy. But today we're going to go a lot blonder, a lot higher up. And I'm very, very excited. So let's get started. Okay, so we're going to be using Oxycure by Goldwell. I'm going to do two scoops for now. And then we're going to use 20 volume. Because her hair is pretty fine. So we don't need to do too much. Add a little bit more bleach to make it thicker. Just like that. Great. We're going to go off her part line. She parts on the side and she doesn't ever go in the middle or on the other side. So we're just going to stick over here and you're just going to follow it and kind of center it down the back of her head. And so we have two big sections, just like this. So we're going to work on the bigger section first because it has more hair. So get that out of the way and then we'll move on to the other side. So this side, what we're going to do over here is just map out this part line. So for her hairline, this is gonna be where a lot of our blonde is gonna be really heavy, so I wanna do that later and focus more on dimensional blonde back in through here. So we'll do that same thing on the other side when we go over there too. But then after we got this mapped out, we'll just clip that away. We're gonna start at the very bottom, kind of at an angle, just to get this corner. Usually everyone has like kind of a corner in here, so we're gonna focus on that first, so that when she pulls her hair up, that this is still a little bit more blonde kind of mimicking the front, and we'll do another section right in front of the ear, kind of the same way, and then this is going to be where a lot of the dimension is, okay? So, put that up. We're just going to do kind of a chunkier weave. So I've got three in there. I'm going to tease it. Get our board. And a foil. And we're going to focus this one kind of going up most of the way. So bring it all the way up there and then feathering it up into the back comb. Just like that. Hold it on up just like that. And so we're going to do that right here as well. Fine section right behind the ear so that when she pulls her hair up she has highlights kind of coming throughout here instead of just on the tip because then if she has heavy highlights up here and then it's just dark right here it's gonna look weird so take kind of chunk your weave again tease it up she's got baby hairs too so we got to make sure to push those up out of the way This one again, we're going to take a little bit higher up. Feathering up into the back comb. Now she wants most of her ends blonde, but we're still going to keep a couple pieces, like really fine pieces for natural color to keep that dimension all the way down, but most of her ends are going to be blonde. So now working up at an angle that these were on, through this back section, we're going to take finer sections as well, weave, working with choppy or chunky weaves, whatever you want to call them. But here we're going to keep the lightener down pretty low since this is going to be where a lot of the dimension is. We're not going all the way up to where that tease is. So we're going to take a slice off this one, lift this hair down, and get two big pieces here. Tease these baby hairs up. Focusing on the ends throughout here. Now we're going to do the same kind of pattern all the way up this back section. Okay. 
Okay, so these are her dropout pieces. I am going to weave and tease some of these and focus just like on this much of the ends, just to make sure they're bright down here too. And then the pieces that we leave out are just going to be out. So I'll just tease up a little bit here. Focus just on the ends. Just like that, and then I'll take this section back here. take smaller weaves up here so we'll take off see how that has like kind of a point take off that corner and drop it down and then up here because we want it to blend within this like brighter blonde piece it's not going to be all the way up here but it's going to be more solid and then when this back here lays over we want a little bit of pieces down there so we're just going to take smaller weaves like this. Tease, and we're gonna bring this up a little bit higher. When we feather up, we're gonna bring it higher up in the front and then kind of angle it down going towards the back. over and grab the rest of that weave and the piece we just took out and we're going to weave this again and create a dropout piece but bringing it up only to like right here. Okay, so that's one side and then we're going to leave that front piece out. We'll do it with the same timing as the next one. So we'll spin her around and then do the same thing we did on this side, right on this side. Okay, so for just the hairline and a little bit of the root, we're gonna do a different toner than, I would normally just do an all over, but um, it's a little bit warmer towards the hairline, just where the lighter brush up, so we're gonna do a different formula. It's gonna be 8NA and 8N, equal parts. Then for the rest of it, we're going to do 9B, 9NB, and 9G.
show you more close up of the end result. But guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Follow me on Instagram at Hair by Alexa, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!